A new invasive species has been found for the first time in this country. It's a tiny shrimp that's been discovered in a canal right here in the Midlands. The Environment Agency and anglers are worried it could cause our native river life real problems if it becomes established. Well, our environment correspondent David Gregory Kumar is down by the waterside in Birmingham. So, is this dreaded shrimp in the waters behind you, David? Well, Nick, it could be. This is the Worcester and Birmingham Canal. We're live at the Birmingham end. You're going to see the Worcester end in my report. And it's in this canal they've managed to find some of these shrimp. They've also found them in the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal and the River Severn. And this is what all the fuss is about. And this is how it looks in real life. It's a small shrimp, but it's causing big worries. We found these in the Worcester and Birmingham Canal, just near Junction 6 of the M5. Well, the thing is, because it's a non-native species, because it doesn't live here normally, um, it, it can come in and it can out-compete the, uh, the, the wildlife that normally lives in the bottom of our, our rivers. It's, uh, it breeds very quickly, the numbers build up very quickly, and where it is on the continent, we have seen that it has had a, quite a dramatic impact on, on the ecology of rivers and canals. The shrimp has arrived here from Eastern Europe, around the Black Sea. Now, because we've only just discovered this shrimp, we've only really just started looking for it, but it has turned up in quite a few locations. We're right by Worcester, it's turned up here, it's turned up much further down the canal, more towards Bromsgrove. So the big question is, how did it get here? We think uh, that one of the most likely sources is through uh, the ballast tanks on, and major shipping, um, which obviously carries sort of thousands of tonnes of, of water, um, and they sometimes uh, empty the ballast tanks when they come to British waters, and that could be one of the, the major reasons they're getting here. The Angling Trust is campaigning to stop this practice. The bad news is now the shrimp has arrived, it'll be impossible to eradicate it. The only option now is to try and slow its spread. And that's where you and I come in. If you use the river, if you're an angler or you have a boat or perhaps a canoe, the advice from the Environment Agency is clean off your equipment once it's been in the river or canal and let it dry. These shrimp can survive in just damp material for up to three days and that's how they spread. So if we do that, we should at least limit its spread for now. In the meantime, the agency has set up a small team to study where this shrimp has spread to, how far it's got and just what impact it's having on our wildlife. David, thank you.